मूविंग टू क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्सटी सिक्स काइनेटिक एनर्जी ऑफ फोर्टीन ग्राम ऑफ एन टू गैस एट वन ट्वेंटी सेवन डिग्री सेल्सियस विल बी द ऑप्शन आर सेवन पॉइंट टू किलो जूल्स टू पॉइंट फाइव किलो जूल्स फोर पॉइंट फाइव किलो जूल्स और एट पॉइंट वन किलो जूल्स स्टूडेंट्स देर इज अ फॉर्मूला टू कैलकुलेट काइनेटिक एनर्जी विच इज Kinetic energy is equals to n, which is number of moles into three by two into R T. So first of all, we have to identify number of moles, which is given mass upon molar mass. Given mass is fourteen grams. Molar mass of N two is twenty eight grams, which is one upon two. That is zero point five. So kinetic energy is equals to zero point five into three by two into R the value of R will be eight point three one four multiplied by T. Students, the value of temperature is given in degree Celsius, which is one twenty seven degree Celsius. But we need the value of temperature in Kelvin, and for that we need to add two seventy three in the given value. So the temperature becomes one twenty seven plus two seventy three, which gives a total of two point five kilojoules. That means the correct answer for this question is option number. Two. Moving to next question, which is sixty-seven. When two moles of ammonia gas are produced through Haber's process at two ninety-eight Kelvin, eighty-three kilojoules energy is released. The bond dissociation enthalpy of nitrogen gas is nine forty-six kilojoules per mole, and that of hydrogen gas is four thirty-five kilojoules per mole. The bond dissociation enthalpy of NH bond is. The options are three twenty three kilojoules per mole, three eighty nine kilojoules per mole, four eighty nine kilojoules per mole, or four twenty three kilojoules per mole. First of all, we need to write the balanced chemical equation, which is N two gaseous plus three H two gaseous gives two N H three gaseous. Now we can calculate the enthalpy of reaction, which is summation of Bond energy of reactant minus summation of bond energy of product. Bond energy of N two plus three into bond energy of H two minus six into Bond energy of NH bond. Since let's put the values in the given equation, the value of delta R H is already given, which is eighty three kilo joules released. That means minus eighty three kilo joules, which is equals to bond energy of N N bond, which is equals to nine forty six kilo joules per mole. Nine forty six kilo joules plus Three multiplied by bond energy of H H bond, which is four thirty five kilojoules per mole. So four thirty five minus six into bond energy of N H bond. Students, which we don't know because we have to identify the bond energy of N H bond. So students, let's solve the question. And after solving, we can calculate the bond energy of N H bond. Which is equals to three eighty nine kilojoules per mole. That means the correct answer for this question is option number two. Moving to question number sixty eight. If for the reaction a liquid to be gaseous at three hundred kelvin, the value of delta H is equals to five point seven kilocalorie per mole. The value of delta S is forty calorie per kelvin per mole. Then calculate the value of delta G and the value of R, which is gas constant, is already given, which is two calorie per kelvin per mole. The options are minus two point five kilocalorie per mole, minus three point four kilocalorie per mole, minus six point three kilocalorie per mole, or minus five point one kilocalorie per mole. Students, as we all know that there is a formula to relate delta G with delta H and delta S. I am writing it. 
डेल्टा जी इज इक्वल टू डेल्टा एच माइनस टी डेल्टा एस नाउ वी कैन इजिली कैलकुलेट द वैल्यू ऑफ डेल्टा जी बाई पुटिंग द वैल्यूज ऑफ डेल्टा एच टेम्परेचर एंड डेल्टा एस इन द गिवन इक्वेशन सो लेट्स राइट द वैल्यू ऑफ डेल्टा एच विच इज फाइव पॉइंट सेवन माइनस टेम्परेचर विच इज थ्री हंड्रेड मल्टीप्लाइड बाई डेल्टा एस विच इज फोर्टी सिंस द वैल्यू इज गिवन इन कैलरी सो हम मल्टीप्लाइंग इट विद टेन टू दर माइनस थ्री टू कन्वर्ट इन टू किलो कैलोरीज so the overall value which gives a total of 5.7 minus 12 which gives a total of minus 6.3 kilo calorie per mole that means the correct answer for this question is option number 3 moving to next question which is 69 which among the following gases has highest critical temperature the given options are h2 co2 o2 or nh3 students as it is very clear that more the polarity of the gas more will be its critical temperature as it is very clear that ammonia is highly polar therefore its critical temperature will be highest among the given options i am also writing the value of critical temperature of the given gases which is molecules on the left hand side and the value of critical temperature in kelvin on the right hand side the value of critical temperature of h2 gas is 33 Point two. The value of critical temperature of CO two gas is three zero four point one. The value of critical temperature of O two gas is one fifty four point three Kelvin. The value of critical temperature of NH three is four zero five point five Kelvin. So again, it is very clear that ammonia will have the highest critical temperature among the given gases. So the correct answer is option number four. Moving to question number seventy. At a particular temperature, the equilibrium constant of a reaction N two plus O two gives two N O is sixty four into ten to the power minus two. The equilibrium constant of the reaction half N two plus half O two gives N O is. Students, this is one of the easiest question, and such questions are frequently asked in NEET examination. In this question. we are given with the equilibrium constant of a reaction and we have to calculate the value of equilibrium constant for a reaction which is formed by multiplying a constant in the given equation n2 gaseous plus o2 gaseous gives 2 no gaseous the value of equilibrium constant is equals to 64 into 10 to the power minus 2 when we multiply the reaction with half the value of equilibrium constant will become k1 raised to the power half which is equals to 8 into 10 to the power minus 1 which is 0.8 that means the correct answer for this question is option number 